Since ChatGPT burst onto the scene nearly a year ago, the generative AI era has kicked into high gear, but so too has the opposition. A number of artists, entertainers, performers, and even record labels have filed lawsuits against AI companies, some against chat GPT maker OpenAI, based on the training data. AI models rely on extensive multimedia data, including content from artists who were unaware and had no say in its use for training commercial AI products. But even without filing lawsuits, artists have a chance to fight back against AI using tech. MIT Technology Review gained exclusive access to a forthcoming open-source tool named Nightshade, designed to poison AI training data. Nightshade can be added by artists to their imagery before they upload it to the web, altering pixels in a way invisible to the human eye. Those pixels poison the art for any AI models attempting to train on it. It causes AI to learn the wrong names of the objects and scenery. For example, the researchers poisoned images of dogs to include information in the pixels that made it appear to an AI model as a cat. After sampling and learning from just 50 poisoned image samples, the AI began generating images of dogs with strange legs and unsettling appearances. After 100 poison samples, it reliably generated a cat when asked by a user for a dog. The researchers used Stable Diffusion, an open-source text-to-image generation model, to test Nightshade and obtain the aforementioned results. Moreover, Nightshade's data poisoning technique is difficult to defend against, as it requires AI model developers to weed out any images that contain poisoned pixel. Any poisoned images that were already ingested for an AI training dataset would also need to be detected and removed. If an AI model were already trained on them, it would likely need to be retrained. While the researchers acknowledge their work could be used for malicious purposes, their hope is that it will help tip the power balance back from AI companies towards artists. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing to support independent news.